when you do it. Next, you're going to need your ruler and a pencil so that we can mark the holes to our punching so that we can put our elastics through. And I'm just going to grab my punching tool as well. And so basically, I'm going to try, I'm going to try my best to put up the measurements and see if I can kind of like pause it so you can see it. I don't know. I'm going to try my best to edit this video a little bit more intensely so that the measurements are on there. So basically, your your book should be nine inches high, right? And you can kind of sort of faintly see where your middle ground is. And you're going to come in and slightly put your um, ruler right almost where the crease is. So kind of sort of play with it lifting up one side. And at four and a half, that's where your middle punched hole is going to go because that's where our middle elastic is going to go. And then you're going to go back again. Is it at nine? Yes. So same thing, kind of bring up your folded book. Bring it out a little bit. And so then you're going to want to, and I'm trying to do this as best as I can with you guys. And so basically what you want is to mark your half an inch in and half an inch from, or a full inch in, and then your half an inch mark. So I'm marking at the eight and eight and a quarter, and then I'm gonna mark at the one and then at the half inch mark. So you can't erase your pencil marks, but these are where my pencil marks are. And then here. So hopefully, I'm gonna zoom back out. So hopefully you can see that. And maybe that would have been the better way to do it. So you wanna come in and you wanna do it at one and the half. So half and one, you're gonna do your four and a half. As I can see, I was off because my paper wasn't in the right place. So see, no harm, no foul. We can erase. Everything's a work in progress, right? If you're doing this, then you know you're okay. You're okay. We're all okay. So, you're gonna do the half. Mine so happens to be on top of this um, little bubble there, so I'm gonna mark it off there. One, four and a half again is on my foiled bubble or circle. Eight, and then eight and a quarter again is on my foiled bubble or circle. So I will just tick it there. And that's all you wanna do is just make yourself you know, a little marking as to where you need to punch your holes. So we'll go back this way. Is that the easy way? So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So whatever tool you decide to use, I want you to punch from the inside out because then it looks neater on the outside so that your hole is bigger on the inside but smaller on the outside. And so don't be afraid, as I almost punch in the wrong spot. Don't be afraid. My goodness, watch this from beginning to end before you make one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. See, easy peasy. The holes on the, oh, that one didn't go all the way through. What's going on? There we go. So the holes on the inside look way more aggressive than they do on the outside, and we want that. We want them to be nice and neat and not aggressive on the outside so that when you do put your elastic in, it's a beautiful finish. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video now, and I'll be back, and we're gonna do our measuring of our cord. All right, so I've decided that I'm gonna use my gray elastic cord. And there's nothing elegant about it. That's what I'm going to say. 
as I unravel the other six bunches off of here. There's nothing pretty about this. And so this part I'm not really a professional at. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people out there who have better videos than I do, but this is the best I can do for you. So you're just going to have to work with me and adjust as your papers or your books need. And I really stress that. So everybody's going to have, you know, the basic, the basic understanding of what I'm doing is going to give you the basic shell. But please remember to leave some gray area for, you know, your books and your composition and the way your paper folds and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to also switch out my mat so that the, so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better because I don't need to do anything that's aggressive now. And then it's just nicer on camera instead of my old one because it's, yeah, it's a little bit, ugh. you know what I mean? I had this wax paper down here when I was doing my little test dummy because I didn't want to gum up my um, my old, my other mat. No, my new mat. I didn't want to gum up my new mat. So basically what you want to do is create an elastic for the center that sort of kind of will extend this far but only sits about this deep if that makes sense again, right? You see how much I can widen this because if we embellish or we do whatever we want that give and take. So we don't want to make it too, too big. And what I'm going to do, so let's go back, is I'm going to do this. I'm gonna put pressure on the center and then try it out and see how much I get. So. I think it's going to be a pretty thick album. I'm going to cut it now and then I'm going to tell you what that length is going to be. And I know I moved that elastic. I moved it. Okay. So my elastic is 18 inches long. So this center piece that I'm doing, again, you can adjust yours as you feel that you need to is 18 inches long and then I'm just going to gently feed it through and I'm going to do a very loose translation of a knot here and that's because we are going to go back and if you want to add a charm to it or something this is just your pretend and you see how that's way too loose so I can come back in and because we haven't finalized anything I'm going to make that a little bit tighter there's no paper in here so and there's no charm in there okay so that's your center loop again mine is very loose because there is obviously no paper in here there's nothing in here so but as you can see it's very clean it's very nice now you want to come in with your center elastics and this is where um, I'm gonna be silent <laughs> because I know what I did, but I don't remember everything. So you're gonna have to bear with me. I believe I went through the first hole. So let's come in here together. Let's come in here together. And I used my pokey tool. Yep, I think it was Nancy that coined it a pokey tool. So, is it here to there? Yeah, I warned you guys. I said it was going to be ugly. I said it was going to go silent. From here to here to here to here. Oh, that's why we have these. That's right. Let's take a look at what I did. So if we dismantle this... It's going to tell me what I did. Oh yeah, so one of these is my loose elastic. Perfect. That's what I like. Alright, so what did I do?
All right. So basically, this is what I did. I'm going to use my pokey tool. I hope to God that that's what I understand, that that's what I did. And I'm going to punch it out this way at the top one. Can you see what I'm doing? No, I was off camera. Just trying to grab it. All right, and then I'm going to come back in on the second one. Still watching me? going to find the end of this one and come back in with my second one. So you don't really need to cut this as long as I did. I realize that and I'm sorry. But it's the tricky part of the album. And I'm sure I'm going to say this throughout the whole video. But there are people out there that have a different way of making this. <laughs> probably better than my way. So what I do know about the inside is that you need to make it a little bit more curly curly so that when your paper is lying here like this, I'm going to try my best. You see how this one, it sits there and it actually brings it up. You want it to curl. You want it to have that curve because you want your books to sit here on purpose in a nice tight fashion. So I'm going to come with my scissor. Please don't mind my phone ringing in the background. So I'm going to cut that off. And now we've got dogs barking. Yes. Real life people. Real life people. Okay. And so then you've got two elastics essentially so that when you do make your uh, I forgot what you call these things. When you do make your two piles of paper, um, you can slide them in there. And I'm just going to use this one as a test to see if that's what I like. And it is. See that? Awesome. And you can always tighten it, right? Because everything we're doing, we're doing with a loose little knot. We're not going to be all you know precise and tightening everything up until the end until we know for sure what we're adding and what we're not adding because you can always take signatures that's what you call them <laughs> you can always take your signatures out and play with them so then your last little loop is a lonely guy and that's where I got my third signature and basically what I did was I cut out another piece of this elastic and I made one for here and it kind of attached together here somewhere right that makes sense and so now basically I can just come in with this and roughly see does this create a signature no that piece is a little bit too short needed to be just a little bit bigger or else it would have been perfect to use that one and basically you're just tying and again, you can do your knots as loose or as tight as you feel that if you're comfortable, I don't know if you're watching the video, if you're doing it with me, I'm not sure. But this is really live for me, guys. This is harsh. This is harder than doing a layout with you guys. I'm so nervous. Like, I gotta get this right. All right. So I don't try to put too many elastics. And again, we're gonna trim these pieces off. Like it doesn't need to stay like that unless you want it like that. I tried to capture the middle part of that third signature and another random page of the other signature, if that makes sense. And then that's how all three of them will sit in there. Now, if you feel that it's too loose, again, well, that was my centerpiece that I just pulled out. You can always go back and tighten it, right? You can always do that. It does not have to, you know, 
be like that. So yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing out of nerves. I'm like, I hope to God that this is like, you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I think you are. You know what? It's always fun to watch people work the way that they work without editing because then when you run into those little snags here and there, you feel more normal. You know, I'm going to say that. I think you do. I think you feel more normal. I think you're like, okay. So if Monica's having trouble with that and I'm sort of struggling with that and it doesn't look as glamorous on hers as it does on mine, but the end results are glamorous, then we're doing it right. Right? That's right. We are doing it right. So yeah, you kind of end up with all these little spider web type looking things and we're not gonna worry about that, right? Because the prettiness is coming after right now because I'm remembering I'm gonna erase my um, markings. I don't want them there. I don't want them there. I don't. I'm making all kinds of marks here. I'm surprised I haven't ruined this with my nail polish. You know how sometimes your nail polish goes on paper? <laughs> I don't want to say that. Okay. So, ta-da! <laughs> I'm like, I hope this, I, how is this going to be? How's this video going to be? All over the place. I'm dropping things. My X-Acto knife doesn't work. My elastics are like, I don't know. All right. So we're doing great. What's the next one going to be? The next part that when you join me, we're going to be doing our inside pages. Okay. So how about that? How about I leave this as one, maybe, I don't know, two, no, one or two. We'll see how I have to edit this part one, part two. I don't know how long or how much filming time I did. So now that we've got our shell done and got cut off, now that we got our shell done, <laughs> you guys can go to town and create your shell. So do whatever you like, make it as pretty as you want to. You can sew with your sewing machine. You can freehand sew. I mean, people, do what you like. Go crazy. Make your dories. So I'll see you next time to do the inside pages. I'm so excited. I'm excited because I have photos for it already. And I'm excited that I'm going to use a kit for it. And I'm going to see whether or not for every kit that I get, I'm going to try to make a faux dory on Fridays because it's faux dory Friday. It is. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.